Hey guys, how is everyone? Back from vacation and back from the holidays. We are ready to get going with the interviews. And um, today I have a very special guest, Luis Alvarado. And what's interesting to me about Luis is that he's a hip hop <laughs> dancer as well as a marketer. But uh, today we're going to be talking about how he automates his system for passive income online. I know that's like probably the number one, to me, the number one struggle for a lot of people because they start out and they do all these things and mm -hmm. it just sets up all their time and they don't know how to even, some people are even afraid to hire a virtual assistant or to, yeah. to even get systems that will cost a monthly reoccurring fee but they're like, uh, they hold on to, they don't want to do it. But for the people who automate systems, they, they like utilize all these tools um, to bring back time into their workflow. But anyway, exactly. enough about that. Hey, Louis, <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for joining me today. Uh, welcome to my group. I'm glad to have you here. I want my group to hear about you from your old mouth. <laughs> so, um, and guys, uh, if you're here live, hashtag live and smash that heart button. We want everyone else in this group to know that this is going on, this is happening. And uh, yeah, Louise, let us know about yourself and how you got started into digital marketing. Cool, cool. So first of all, yeah, thank you. Appreciate you inviting me over. Um, this is going to be a fun one. So for everybody that's hanging out, uh, just feel free to ask any questions at any point in time. Um, I have it. I have you guys right here, so I'll be I'll be checking and, and seeing the comments as well. Um, but yeah, it all started for me uh, back in back in 2017, uh, the summer of 2017. And um, when I when I first got started, um, it was like I just I had my background was in the tech startup uh, space, right? I was uh, I went to I graduated college. Uh, I can't say last December anymore because now it was the I graduated December of 2017, uh, so it's now two Decembers ago. Uh, but yeah, I graduated as a mechanical engineer, so all I did was just study engineering and science and math, and that's that's what I that's what I really really enjoyed, right? Yeah. But um, along came entrepreneurship. One day I was I was saw my friend, saw my roommate, like literally on his computer all day for like 12 hours and i'm like bro like what are you doing like <laughs> why are you on your computer like all day and he and i have been living with this guy for three years already he, i've lived with him my entire like college career right um and what then all of a sudden, oh sorry <laughs> what was his major at the time you're engineer and he's engineer no he was computer science oh okay, okay. yeah yeah so he was computer science <laughs> okay. so he yeah. was into you know like developing apps and stuff but out of nowhere he just went off and like daily he would sit on his computer and start doing this and then i'm like bro what are you doing he's like oh it's my new job man i'm like working on this new app um he's like okay well it was like 9 p.m he's like all right well i gotta go to the to the to the meeting and i'm like what you're gonna go to like your job meeting at like 9 p.m and then he's like yeah man and uh, and then he started telling me about his boss and then his boss at the time this was like 22 years old and i'm like how's your boss like so young? And so I like started, you know, asking all these questions and I'm like, this, this was so new to me. And then that's when he started explaining that what this whole thing was as a startup, a startup that was developing the social app and everything that they were doing and business. And I'm like, oh, that seems interesting. So then uh, a few days later, I ended up attending my first ever like entrepreneurial seminar, uh, which I went to UCF and uh, that, that's where they were having like free seminars. So I went to one and then the idea of being able to monetize your passions, anything that you love doing, that's what the first time that anybody ever told me that I was able to do that. And from there on, I was like, oh man, this is this is definitely what I want to dedicate myself to, my you know my time and my life to be able to make money doing what I love, whatever that may be. And they would you know started teaching me um, all these processes, and then from there on, you know, I got into an own tech startup because my my background was engineering. Cause I was like, I'm never going to have a job unless I am doing something with either startups or have my own business. So I had the opportunity to be in a startup and, uh, that startup for those of you that might be familiar with, uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of Y Combinator. Yes. Y Combinator. Okay, cool. So Y Combinator, 
it's like entrepreneurs dreams to like be part of that accelerator uh back in 2016 i had the opportunity to be part of my nanotech startup ended up being at y combinator oh, and wow. it was like mind-blowing i felt like i was in a movie you know to be in to be amongst startups like airbnb uber dropbox reddit like oh. it was crazy uh so that's where a lot of my knowledge really in business came about um and then as time went on i was like i'm really good when it comes to like navigating on the internet and so that's when i started asking myself the question of like hey how can i do this but do it online uh, and so i just kind of you know took my knowledge that i had with with startups and building a business and then I started looking into into building a business online and uh that's that's where i'm at right now oh wait you skipped oh before you continue <laughs> i feel like you just skipped all over <laughs> i did i did <laughs> a oh, lot a lot good. has happened in like the past year and a half like a lot <laughs> okay we'll get into that but before we do that hey guys i i want to say hi this is an interactive um uh interview and i want to say hi to everyone who joined Hey, Jonathan, Frank, Aaron, Nasir, Rodin. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't butcher your name. Um, Jeffrey, Kyle, hey, Billy, hey, Steven, hey, Glenn, hey, Dave, uh, hey, Todd, hey, Carrie, hey, Simon, hey, Grimaldo, Grim, Grimido. I haven't seen you around, Grimido. <laughs> Hi, welcome. Guys, if you're here live, hashtag live so that I know I am doing a giveaway of one of my extensions, quick link convert today. So uh, the hashtag live, so I know that you're here and you attended. Otherwise, oh well, you miss out, <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Um, okay, so regarding your story, you just told me uh, like why Combinator and then you learn about digital marketing and then now you're here. I mean, <laughs> where are you? <laughs> yeah, so, so so let's fill so let's fill the gaps. So as soon as I started like you know learning about like this whole online stuff, um, I went on Facebook, right? Where, where we're all at right now, where we're hanging out, and I started just uh, joining groups. And then when I started joining groups of people, like as I was doing my research, you know, on Google and YouTube, um, I started. I got the idea of oh, let me research this on Facebook, right? And then I started seeing people actually make like a thousand dollar deals two thousand dollars deals, three like in groups and they were talking about this like like it was easy you yeah. know and i'm like what the heck what in the world like what what's going on here like i i want to you know be able to do this so i joined uh the very first group that completely changed my life uh this was the summer of 2017 um i joined it was it was called the 30 day sales challenge Very and nice. um yeah. Is it still around? Is it still around? It, no, no, no. It's no longer around. Oh. Okay, <laughs> <never mind. laughs> but, uh, but at the time, it was like you had to sell something every single day, right? It was in June, the month of June. You had to sell something every single day. And I'm like, I've never sold anything in my life. How am I going to sell something every single day, especially online? But all these people were just giving, you know, advice and helping on each other and being so supportive. And, um, and then I'm like, okay, well, I, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm motivated. Like I really, really want to do this. And at the, and at the time, my parents had come up to, to Orlando in Orlando, Florida. Um, cause that's where, you know, that's where I was attending school at the time and we're struggling to pay rent. Um, literally my sister had to move in cause she started attending UCF as well. So we were both living in, in one room and like, I had like my bed, like right here. And like, she had a mattress right under me and like we would switch uh back and forth every single night um and that and and we were almost like kicked out because we couldn't afford rent oh, um and then my parents came up because we were trying to figure out like how we're gonna pay for for the next month and all that stuff and then i told my mom i was like hey you know don't worry about don't worry about next month like i promise you things will be different right because because i knew that i was in the 30-day sales challenge group and i'm like i'm gonna make something happen right but i didn't know how i just told her like I, but I don't know. I just felt confident that I was going to do it. And then that's when things finally started to change. That June of 2017, that's when I finally, I jumped on Instagram and I started DMing businesses and I was offering lead generation services. So that's, that's what I was, you know, trying to help people out with. And, um, and I started replying, I started getting replies and every single day I would jump on the phone 
And then I finally started, you know, making some deals, started getting some clients, started getting the ball rolling. And uh, it was the first time in my life where, you know, finally things were working out with the, with this type of business model, which was the agency. Agency. Yeah. 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 There was the agency. So that's what started it all for me. So from, from that June from 2017, yeah, that, that, that next month, you know, we were, we were okay. We're good. Um, And that's kind of like when things started, you know, changing for me, I started building a presence online. I started, you know, networking with a lot of different people online and it was just great because everybody is so helpful. Um, you know, I, I was part of many different groups, many different influencers that started being coached by other people um, and while I was still going to school. And um, and then I went from having the agency and then I started helping other people uh, get results with their agency, like get clients and also deliver results for their clients. So Dan, I got into... Was it, was it around like Dan Henry getting results similar to Dan Hen like Facebook group or like whatever type of agency? What were you? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Driving. So I was driving face doing it with Facebook ads, you know, okay. the generating leads for local businesses. So, um, yeah, I, I got Dan Henry's course. That was that that was definitely a good one. Um, I ended up buying Ty Lopez's course, which, guys, I do not recommend for anybody that's trying to get it. I know it's really popular, but courses. <laughs> there, I like. I got so many different courses. I bought a lot of stuff, um, and I mean, I was super fortunate to do so. I just kept investing myself over and over. Like whatever I earned, put it back into you know building up my knowledge because I knew little about like this one just marketing period. I just knew about business, but I didn't know about marketing. Marketing is a whole different beast. Um, and so I started doing consulting, then I got into coaching. Um, and then later on the year, which was the December of 2017, when I was finally about to graduate, I was still with a startup, with the nanotech startup, um, but I was earning more than the startup was earning at the time. And then I'm like, okay, well, I, I think I gotta like go and you know spread my wings. And like, they understood, you know, the entrepreneurs themselves, um, but it was just crazy because the week of graduation, me uh, launched a launched a new info product. It was teaching people how to use and implement messenger bots for their businesses. And that week alone, uh, we did 12k, and it was like the most that I had ever made, like in a single week, uh, from an info product online. And um, and also, I was graduating that week, right? I was graduating as a mechanical engineering uh, major but I wasn't planning on doing or pursuing anything with engineering. So um, that's when kind of like things started, you know, evolving for me. And then January came, came around and the whole year of 2018, I started living like the digital nomad lifestyle, started traveling full time from January uh, all the way up until now. Uh, so it's, it's been, uh, it's been a constant like evolving and, you know, just doing that, selling the info products as I was traveling, I started asking myself, like, how can I make this passive income, right? So I was making good active income, selling my own products online, but I still wanted to make that passive because I'm like traveling full time and like switching time zones and getting on flights and sometimes some places I didn't have Wi-Fi. And so I'm like, what, what can I do? What should I do? Um, and once again, I went back to asking people, asking those questions. And, um, and finally one day it hit me, I'm like, oh, let me try affiliate marketing. Right. Like that was that was that was one of the first things because I'm like, OK, well, I, all I have to do is just drive traffic. That's all. That's really all I need to do. Like people already have the offers in place, you know, literally everything they give you everything. So I'm like, oh, OK, well, let me you know, let me give this a try. So I started just recommending stuff. And that's when I started building up my monthly recurring revenue from these products that I was recommending. Um, and it just completely transformed the direction that I was headed in. Uh, what I wanted to do in business, uh, just my ideas and something, by the way, guys, something that I want to recommend, uh, everybody to read is I have this book. Let me get this book really quick. This oh, book right here. Some questions. Nice. Oh, the E-Myth revisited. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Freaking amazing. Revisited. Recommended book. So let me have you pause for a second and. Yes. Say hi to everyone. Hey, Greg, thanks for joining. Hey, Paul, 
Um, we actually have a question. Oh, Todd is saying Sean's group. Sean's group, are you? I don't yeah, know. yeah, yeah. Sean Manaher, freaking amazing guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it is Sean's group. And um, Nas Sierra Dean, 12K was from his info product. Yeah, it was my, it was something that I created. Not, uh, I wasn't promoting any, I was, I haven't been promoting anything up until August of this year. August was when you started. Oh, oh, oh not of this year. My bad. We are in 2019. August of 2018 was when I started my affiliate marketing venture. Yeah. Oh, okay. Not too yes. long ago. Yeah, yeah, not very long. Oh, that's awesome. And you you started with ClickFunnels or what did you start with? I started with courses, just recommending courses that I personally had taken, had generated results in, and then I moved on to software. So yeah, we had ClickFunnels, you know, active campaign. I was doing proof as well. Um, and like those were those were the three main ones. Okay, so let's talk about automation. Um, yeah. hey, guys, if you have any questions, let's say you're doing everything on your own or whatever you're doing that you feel so bogged down by so many things, ask us these questions. Ask Luis. He, you know, has been doing this for several years, so he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> And even if it's some, even if there are people that I met, they only do it for like three months or four months. They they learn so much, you know, in that time span. So if you're in it for years, it's like you know, you know what you're talking about by this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it's like what really, um, you know, affiliate marketing really like when people usually ask me like, oh. So like, what, what product do I recommend? You know, what do I sell? And I tell them to like, kind of like tweak that question because really what you really need to understand is marketing. Uh, once you really have, once you understand marketing and you understand business, it doesn't matter if you're selling your own stuff. It doesn't matter if you're recommending somebody else's stuff, right? If Kim comes out with something, I can make sure that, okay, cool. Does she have an offer in place? You know, what's the funnel look like? What does her back end looks like? You know, what do her sequences look like? I need to be able to really understand all these things, which are all different moving parts of an entire business model, right? And something that you guys can compare it to um, is a, like a franchise, right? People that buy franchises, they're buying systems. It's like big ass system. Like the business is the product. And so whenever you focus on selling the business as a product instead of a business that is selling a product that's when things begin to change because then you're always in business development phase as opposed to working in on the, you know as opposed to working in the business you're working like on the business and uh, people tend to really most of the time be be like the technicians right be be the person that likes to do all the work themselves uh, but they need to evolve and mature their thinking that they need to kind of like see this from a higher level because you as an entrepreneur, you are the one that has that vision. You're the one that has all those dreams of, you know, taking it to the next level. And in order to do that, you need to be able to trust other people and be able to delegate everything that you need to do. And with that, you need to simplify all your processes, all your systems and be able to like package it and then give it to somebody else uh, because you want to, you know, be able to remove yourself from that equation. And uh, that's really what a lot of, you know, in, in the startup ecosystem, that's that's what they that's what they preach. But here in internet marketing, everybody wants to do, you know, at all themselves or they want to learn systems, but then they don't get the systems right because they lack the marketing. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Um, when you're telling me all that, and hey guys, hey Kyle, hey Kyle, hey Todd, hey Jason, hey Chris. Um, Todd is asking, what value can you bring with whatever product you sell? And Carrie is, how did you select your product? Did you have a list? Let's let's answer those two, and then I'm going to ask my question. Cool, cool. So, Todd, the value that you can bring, the value, um, I cannot tell you the value that you need to bring to other people because you need to find out through customer research what they perceive, what your customer perceives is valuable to them, right? 
same thing as as if you have a, like an employee if you're not the one that's necessarily being their president for the transaction uh or you want to be able to reward people that are working for you you need to be able to reward them with stuff that they perceive as valuable um so that all depends really uh, you know in, from the data that you gather while you do your own research and then second question i put on the screen how did you select your product did you have a list like okay what's your thought process with yeah yeah so carrie um the way that i selected my product and the way that anybody really can select products um and, or services is by just taking anything that you're doing in your life right now there's something that you're super into there's something that you're already putting money behind there's something that you're already raving about you're telling friends right and when you go and you watch a movie you're letting your friends know, oh, like, oh, you know, I saw the latest Avengers movie. That movie was so freaking awesome. You need to go watch it, right? There, what you just did, you just promoted something, except you didn't get a commission for that, right? Uh, and the same thing, doctors do that same thing all the time, right? You go to them because they're the experts and uh, they recommend whatever, based on whatever pains, right, you're experiencing at that moment, they recommend something that can alleviate that pain. So think about it that way. Think about what it is that you have going on in your life at the moment and like literally go online, look up affiliates, uh, you know, partnerships for whatever it is, product that you are, are already using. I 100% guarantee you that they may either have one or you can go ahead and email them and, you know, reach out and ask them like, hey, you know, I want to be able to share your this product because it's done so much for me and I want to be able to share with other people. All right. That totally makes sense. And um, a question that I want to ask, because, you know, I'm at a certain stage of uh, automation. Let's say that um, I already have like a small team. Um, like, give me that next step in terms of, uh, I don't know, like where I want to know where at what point does something change? and that you needed to make it that shift to move on to the next level does that make sense because i feel like <laughs> i feel like that that will help my audience out um because i you're speaking to me and i'm like i'm like i get the mindset i get quick uh, you know you need a launch quick no, it's all the technical all the right. technical stuff, i'm absorbing it but <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know, for my audience, um, even like a lot of them are beginners and they just want to learn the very beginning steps. Um, can you give me some kind of like steps that you made it, or things that you did in terms of pivoting or, or doing something different that took you to the next level because you are at that next level, you know? Yeah, yeah, sure. So um, when it when I was first like starting off, right, that whole transition, uh, really like we need to spend a lot of time and I don't think a lot of people spend a lot of time doing the research on their audience, right? Because all that technical stuff to like scale, all that comes after. And all that stuff is super easy in the way that like your whole backend is set up and the way that you attract people by really understanding who it is that uh, you wanna serve, right? By really knowing your market need to know exactly what market you're in and you need to know about your people like who it is that uh you want to be able to serve who it is that actually has money to be able to pay you for the value that you're going to give them uh and uh, you really need to identify and know their problems uh but you need to be aware that not all problems uh not all problems are created equal right because you can have a problem and you can have a solution but you can also have a solution to a problem that it doesn't exist and you can also have um and then, and then you could also have a problem that people aren't willing to pay for so that's what you need to get really really clear is it is this a job that people are actually going to pay to get done right because if you get that wrong right off the bat it's like you're going to keep trying you're going to keep trying and you're never going to move on to the next level so really fall in love with the problems, not the solutions that you think other people want, because in your mindset, you've already infatuated with the idea of like, oh, this is, you know, this is the solution, like this is it. But really that's not it, put more time 
into actually having conversations and engaging with people. Like I spent a lot of time while in college was doing like these, these customer research exercises. I would go and I would talk to strangers. Like I would just be like, hey, can I have five minutes of your time? Can I have 10 minutes of your time? Uh, go nights, Frank. <laughs> uh, you went to UCF as well. That's cool. Um, but yeah, so while, while being there, right, and, and, and just talking to people, you start learning. You start like listening to them. And that's when I started to pivot because they're like, oh, okay, so you're telling me that you're actually suffering from this and you start getting to the root cause, the, the triggers as to why people, uh, you know, are, are, are going through whatever they're going through. And so you start just start gathering all this data and that's when you begin crafting a solution and, and you take them along the journey too. So not only are you getting customer research at the same time, you're building your audience and when you've crafted something, right? When you've yeah. crafted like a little, a little product that, you know, it's just a little prototype and you show it to them, they get to play with it. And it's something that actually that they, that they've been wanting for, for the longest and you've created it, they're going to be able to pay for it. So that's how you start, you know, building uh, from the start. That is awesome. Yes, that that makes sense. And I think for me, that's what happened too, because I tried to make products before and I didn't find the audience or talk to any people. I just made it and thought people would <laughs> buy it. And that's such a big uh, problem. I mean, that was such a big mistake. And then, um, and so when I found that audience and then I just made something that they, I know that they want, and they could pay for, um, that's when I actually started seeing results. So that makes total sense. Uh, thank you, Luis. Let's yeah, yeah, for sure. There is an automation question or there's a VA question from, I threw it onto the, your screen. Like when and where do we start looking at VA and help? Like at what point did you started looking for VA versus doing everything yourself? Yes. So, okay. So when you start off, like as soon as you start off, um, if you have no prior knowledge on business at all, you know, definitely spend the money that you have right now into knowledge, like whatever that may be, whether that be books, courses, coaching, you know, seminars, whatever, like just, just try to soak in information. Um, and then once you start like doing things and applying, right? Because the only way that you're actually going to be able to grow is by getting your hands dirty with, with the tasks that need to be done. Um, and th if this is your first go around and you may not have a mentor by your side, um, it's always great to have somebody that has done, you know, has done it before um, and be able to kind of like give you the, uh, the high level overview of what a, what a business looks like. But if you're not there, what I would advise, would be to just kind of like go step by step. Like I said, customer research, number one thing, because th the more feedback that you get from people, the more that you're kind of like going to go step by step and be able to create something and spend time on the product that people are actually going to buy. And so as you do that, once you start building things out, you start taking notes on the actions that you're taking. So for example, anything that I personally uh, do multiple times, I go ahead and I write it down. I document it. I have literally my life on Google Drive and on spreadsheets, right? And on Google Docs, like I literally have everything. Um, and I'm able to kind of just like document, okay, like I did this, like be extremely detailed on everything that you did so that once again, you can just give that to somebody else and they can go ahead and replicate it. And the cool thing about online business is that we can just, you know, capture a whole screen and give it to somebody and then they can do the same thing. So be able to simplify it that even the person like that even a fifth grader you know is able to do it and follow along uh on what you need to do so start by tasks that you've done three times boom you go ahead and you write step by step and then you start looking into vas and and for vas uh, i recommend uh onlinejobs.ph uh, oh, yeah i've heard of that online yeah. Um, there's also Fiverr. I've also used Fiverr. I've also used uh, freelancer.com. Fiverr is cool, uh, but if you're like looking to like train and take things to the next level, or, like really, really establish a team, um, that or there's also um, the way that I got my first ever like VA was through a uh, Facebook group. So just you know, they they hang in there. They're they're pretty cool. They're like whatever tasks they need to need to get done. Um, if you, you know, you got to learn how to communicate, 
um, oh, like speaking on communication, if you want to start off something uh, online, you need to definitely have the skill of communication. And it doesn't matter what, you know, if, if you like baseball, if you like dance, if whatever other skill, you, you don't have to be, um, you don't have to be a master at them. You just have to be kind of like good, right? You don't have to be like a really freaking good. You just got to be top 25% of the world. You're, you're, you're good. But one of those skills, make it communication and make it either a verbal communication or written communication. Okay. And make sure that you mix that into whatever skills you have um, and whatever things that you're interested in, because this is what's going to give you that unique mix that's you. This is this is what's going to make you valuable as an individual. And that's what's going to allow you to really be able to talk on the things that really matter to you. So you never get bored. Right. And you always constantly be able to like learn. I love one, one of my highest values is researching and learning. That's that's what I spend a lot of my time doing. And then I kind of, you know, share with other individuals, give it my own twist. Um, and, uh, you know, that's, I get, I get rewarded with that in, in exchange for money, right? I bring value to the people in that order, I give them, give them what it is that I've learned over time and then deliver it, repackage it in a way that they understand, uh, and they, and they can help them. Awesome. Um, guys, if you're here live, hashtag live, especially if you want, um, the free extension and um hashtag replay if you're watching the replay smash the heart button and you know stretch a little bit you know if you need more oxygen in your brain yawn <laughs> <laughs> but hey chris mccoy thanks for joining hey hey louise i mean <laughs> why did you okay louise why did you i'm live it's, we're I, live right now really, oh, <laughs> let's ask a question and guys ask questions i want you to ask questions um, uh, frank is, frank asked the question he said Lewis, in a way, you're saying the product doesn't matter as long as you can market it correctly to the right people. You will make money. Okay, so Frank, the product matters because, look, if you, it, from what perspective you're looking at it, if you're looking at it from your own info product, right? As I said, like if you, if I'm personally building something, I'm gonna take the time to beta test it and iterate and you know go like really work with people that actually need this before I get loud about it. Okay, so that's one. So that's why the product does matter. Um, and that's when you will actually make money because you know that, okay, cool. As you were building this, you didn't just try to scale it right off the bat. As you were building this, you knew that, okay, this person really liked this and they're actually generating results. Okay, let me build the foundation before I actually, you know, build this biz business up. Um, because a lot of people tend to bring in a lot of money and then all of a sudden they need to pause because it didn't have the right foundation in place. Um, and then if you're looking at it from an affiliate marketing perspective, uh, you already have all the results available. You don't want to market, uh, you don't want to market a product that has no backup on like results that, that have been generated or a funnel in place or like email sequences like they if if you can market uh, you know an affiliate product, like they literally have all these things already done for you. That's why I love affiliate marketing because all you gotta do is just send traffic, right? You just gotta send traffic and learn how to make offers as a, as a marketer. And here is another question from Billy Fan. Hey, Billy, how are you? Billy is my actual friend in real life. <laughs> Billy, <laughs> Billy Fan, okay. what's up, man? <laughs> Do you use any monitoring system? I have an answer for that as well, but uh, I'll have, go ahead, Luis. Do you use any monitoring system? Yeah, so I personally use Slack. Uh, and within Slack, I'm able to kind of, you know, just integrate a whole bunch of stuff like Trello. Um, so that so that's definitely a big one, but I don't, I don't like micromanage uh, people. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're actually um, for, Billy, there is like screen recording programs and keyboard monitoring programs out there that I think cost like $5 a month start starting off. So it's really inexpensive and it lets you track you, your VA activity. A lot of VAs, uh, it holds them accountable. I forgot the website, but I'll, I'll like look it up. It's only $5. It's, it, it monitors your- the, I, I, I've heard of that one too. I can't it, recall. 
the icon is blue. The part. <laughs> <laughs> but oh, oh yeah, on Upwork, if you use Upwork, they have screen monitoring as well as keyboard monitoring, so you know if they're like doing something or not. <laughs> they're, working on, they're working on your project, or they're on one screen, <laughs> and then you for an hour the cool thing about upwork is you can dispute like if they you know don't do much for you but try oh yeah 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 they will act as a moderator for for you um oh man frank yeah okay let's see many questions you guys uh if you love, love the questions by the way thank you guys for shooting those questions yeah great questions let's see uh louise do you want to choose a question or you want yeah. to question so Kerry Duke, uh, he said, you mentioned Facebook ads and bots earlier. How do you use these today with affiliate marketing? So Kerry, this is a great question. Um, once, once again, like really having, um, I got a, an amazing understanding of what marketing is overall. Um, like the, the last six months of 2018 were completely game changing for me in terms of like my understanding. I um, started getting coached by amazing people. I think you, got, some of you guys may know if you guys are into click funnels, like Stephen Larson. Learned a lot from him, and um, like this dude is a freaking oh my god, like he loves marketing. And so, what I've personally done, I have a Google spreadsheet. I have like subject, and then the other column is the the masters. And so, for every subject, I just listen to one single person, depending on the area that I want to get really good at. So I have, you know, different coaches and different people that I go to uh, whenever it comes to these things. Uh, but when it comes to, um, that, that's when I started like really comprehending in the whole ecosystem of marketing where things, you know, fit and like where they go. So there was a point in time where people were like, oh, you know, email marketing is dead and like bots are like the new thing, right? Everybody was talking about this, but everything has a place in, in, in the big picture, in the bigger picture. So people were started using bots and then totally forgot about email marketing while email marketing was still bringing me sales and still working like just as fine. And then they were mis, you know, misutilizing all the bots stuff. So what I personally use bots for now is let, let's say you want to use like forms or sometimes on landing pages, you know, you have like a quiz and then they ask you, oh, you know, choose A, B, C, boom. And then you go to the next pages and it's only like, one question per like landing page so what i do now because bots are extremely conversational and you can engage with people and like you know you have their attention like they're there um now i command all my surveys and things that i want to ask of people in the data that i want to acquire because i get the data extremely fast and then i'm um, also i have this dude that uh, th this software is going to come out um later on the year it's called arsenal os but this company, what they do is they extract all the information that you've gathered from the bot and they create smart landing pages. Like how crazy is that? Like literally from the, from the information that I just asked, like it can tweak and tailor landing pages specifically to you and like just change our words. Like freaking blew my mind whenever, like I've been seeing this in development for the past couple of years. Like it's been pretty freaking crazy. Um, but taking that and then it stores all the data from there. So now it tells my, what I use for email marketing is active campaign. And then it syncs it with active campaign. And now I have the user on as a, as a chatbot subscriber. And then I also have them as, a, as an email subscriber yet with email, it would take me some time to really learn who I was talking to. Right. Cause I would tag them with like different things. Like they would click on something and then I'll give them a tag. Okay, cool. Next email, you know, I'll give them a tag. And then that's how I was learning. So learning took some time, but with bots, whenever I mix the two, I'm like getting, I'm like learning like on the first day. And now I have a sequence that's tailored specifically to them, you know, for like a longer period of time. So that's been game changing. And I know that's going to be available uh, soon. I don't know how soon, uh, but we're currently working uh, on, on, on mine for, for that, for a bot. So that's so that's gonna be exciting. I can definitely share it with you guys whenever it's available. Arsenal, is this the? I don't even know if I spelled it correctly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You did. Oh. <laughs> that's <laughs> it. Yes. <laughs> oh man. 
That is so cool. I, I think I um, there's a software similar out there on, I don't know how, on what level, but it's Magic Zap and it does grab um, yeah. like uh, the information when you respond or according to what column of a sheet or something. And then it'll take that information and put it on the landing page. So mm -hmm. it's like, hey, your name. Uh, my name is blah, blah, blah. I heard that you, uh, I know that you work as, you know, LinkedIn profile that it grabbed as a manager at whatever company. Oh, nice. You need blah, blah, blah. And that, that is available right now as, um, a software. So. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Do you know uh, what, what their, what the name is for that software? Um, Magic Zap. Magic Zap. Magic. Magic that like this cool. that exists right now so you can try that out i know um my and guys some of the people in my audience know about it because um one of my friends his name is john he's the ceo of this company uh, and he he demonstrated it and i have it i haven't used it yet i have it but it seems like it's so powerful when he does That's the future, yeah. Like doing all that smart marketing and like having it all connect and having like that be the like nucleus for all the information that's stored. It's, it's crazy. Like if my many chat all of a sudden like went away, I could still have all the information with whatever like bot I, software I decided to like go with. So it's pretty convenient. Oh, cool. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag live if you're here live and smash the heart button. And uh, yeah, so let me know if you're here for my free extension. And let's see if we can answer some audience questions right now. Um, man, there's some. Okay, Carrie, that was, that was a very long answer to your question. <laughs> but it was a good answer. Um, let's see. I use Upwork but went away to online.ph. Oh, so. Billy nice. prefers online.ph. Um, what, what about that one? Traffic generator or where do you obtain your traffic from? Yeah, so I've been doing uh, organic, organic traffic from Facebook and also YouTube. Um, in 2019, I'm going in all in on YouTube. Like if I had to start all over, I would do YouTube and uh, that's what I'm doing now. Um, like I even shut down my Facebook group and I'm just focused on YouTube because I've seen amazing results. Like I started using YouTube, um, started getting coached on it. And then I started learning like the SEO aspect of YouTube. And it's been a game changer. Like all the people that I'm able to connect with on YouTube, all the, and you know, it's more passive too. Like I just need to like make evergreen content uploaded and it's good to go. So YouTube main traffic source for 20, uh, 2019. You know, that's what, um, that's what I actually hear from everyone. Like everyone's like, I'm going all in on YouTube. Oh yeah. It's YouTube is the best. Like if I like, it just keeps more views and views and views and people actually click. Like when I first started getting sales from YouTube, I'm like, wow, this works. So it's, it's, I like, and I enjoy making videos. So it suits, it suits, you know, what, what I enjoy doing and it matches perfectly. Yeah, it seems like to me that everyone should go all in on YouTube all the time. <laughs> where, where are we taking or where are you taking us? Oh, there you go. I was just charging, charging my computer. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was about to die. All right, cool. Yeah, well, um, usually uh, these interviews, you know, I told you beforehand, it, maybe I didn't, but it usually lasts like an hour. Um, so we have around like 15 minutes left to answer some questions. I have questions of my own, but it seems like the audience has a ton of questions today. So, um, let me see. Uh, yeah. So it made me very curious as well. Like, should I go all in on YouTube as well? Cause right now I am not, you know, and, and it, I don't know. <laughs> I recommend it. So the thing is that. I've already, we've already been experimenting with YouTube, not just in the digital marketing space, but also in other spaces and like the strategies that I've been implementing are crazy. Like 
you're seeing good results in so many different niches. So um, from what strategies? Um, because uh, there's Sean Cannell, I think he he offers uh, coaching maybe, and um, there's also courses like Spencer. He has Affiliate Secrets 2.0, and he has a YouTube section. Yeah. What do you recommend to learn? So I personally haven't. I don't know. I haven't taken any any of those. Um, I learned from. So I started learning directly from. Um, you know, there's there's people like Alex Becker. There are people directly from like YouTube. Um, and I was learning from uh, also Kevin David, Josue Pena, and I was learning from these people that you know have have done amazing and do hundreds of thousands from from YouTube alone, and then all of a sudden. Um, I learned how to create content and I learned how to like do my research for videos, but I still wasn't seeing results. So all of us out of nowhere, I, I was blessed by one of my buddies that came and talked to me. He was like, hey, man, can you know, uh, he, he, he's really great with SEO and he, what, he runs an SEO company. He's like, hey, man, you know, can uh, can I share some ideas with you and implement it on YouTube uh, free of charge? And I'm like, oh, man, for sure. Let's do this. He helped me out, and from there on, every single one of my videos ranks either first, second, third, fourth, but like on the first page for any, like it's now every single video that I post, like I know it's going to rank because of this process. So once again, like that's something that now I'm in the process of teaching VAs. So I can just kind of like film my video, upload it to Google Drive, and then all of a sudden everything's taken care of. Right, I so that's something that's repetitive. I'm sorry to interrupt you. How do I get that process? How does anyone get that process? Because I, I want that. Like, how do I? Well, get that? I know he has a course. I can definitely connect you with him. His name is Tony Tovar. Tony, Tovar. Yeah, Tony Tovar. He has a YouTube, YouTube, uh, SEO, YouTube domination. It's called. But I was the first person he ever shared it with, and I'm like, man. This is freaking amazing. Like to Tovar, no, no, T O V A. Okay, T O V A. Yes, yes. Tony Tova, you guys. Tony Tova, I know this. No, with an R at the end. <laughs> T O V A R. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay, you guys. One more time. <laughs> Here we go. Perfect. We got it. YouTube domination. I'm doing this. I'm gonna tell you guys my results after after listening to Luis about Tony. <laughs> yes, freaking oh my god, Tony. Um, and he's definitely underpricing his course, so you all should get it before. Uh, and you know, he did it for you, like you didn't buy his course. Like he went and did it for you for him. Yeah, yeah. He he came and he just was like, hey, I want to try out some ideas because he, his background is SEO, right? And obviously Google owns YouTube. And what he shared with me was something that all these high level people were, like I, I literally learned and I spent thousands of dollars on my YouTube education. And along came Tony and finally things just worked. And before him, like things just didn't work. Like I started seeing results like fast. And obviously with YouTube, it like, you know, it takes time, but with him first day, boom, my stuff started ranking all the time. That is so cool because yeah, I put only a few videos about my app group convert. If you can see the logo there on YouTube and I have strangers getting group convert now and I'm like, where are you coming wow. from? Okay. I need to learn more about this group convert. What is this? Oh, my little, my little app <laughs> <laughs> Shut down your Facebook groups. I don't know if you're going to use it, but it basically, you know how you get three questions. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, one of the questions is, hey, give me your email so I can give you a free whatever PDF yeah. software. And uh, they answer that. It'll pull that data and it'll send it to your email autoresponders. So it's kind of like you start yeah, yeah. with them right away with your email sequence um, as you accept them into the group. So you click accept and it'll send it there. <laughs> so oh, that's, nice, that's nice. I'm sorry you closed down your group for <laughs> No, it's all good. Life is better. I've just been, it's allowed me to like, I mean, aside from everything that I do lately, I've just been so more focused and more mindful about my time and everything that I'm doing, you know? So like, 
just just everything it's con that that's what i wanted to do like if i'm gonna be focused on social media i gotta do some revenue generating activities and uh facebook group uh wasn't like for for me for what i for what i wanted to achieve you know in 2019 like if i want to focus on one source youtube is definitely like the way okay let's let's look at the customer uh, let's look at the audience they've been asking questions and some people are like are you Andrew Cruzy is like, you motherfuckers still alive? <laughs> yes, we're still alive. Our live is an hour long, okay? What um, up, son? Bro, what's, Andrew, uh, you didn't text me back, man. What? Andrew never oh, texted you back? Andrew didn't text me back last night, man. Come on. Oh, what are you trying to contact Andrew about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we're supposed to hang out. Oh, wait, you, you actually meet him in real life? Well, anyways, yeah, me and me and Andrew go way back. Uh, this this we kind of started together at the same time. Oh, that is awesome! I'm trying to get him into my group convert partnership. You can give away or sell group convert. And Andrew, you have not responded. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, no, Andrew's uh, he's he's one of my closest friends. Oh, that is so cool. That's so random because someone else recommended me to uh, to interview you, not Andrew, right? I don't remember. Anyway, <laughs> hey guys, hashtag live if you're here live and hashtag replay if you're here for the replay. Smash the heart button. Um, I, I want to know what is your YouTube channel, Luis, because some of them started asking, like, hey, what's uh, your Yeah, you guys can uh, bit.ly slash L U I S YouTube. Is there a way that I can type it here? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, you got it. That's right. Didn't use hashtag live or something? something yeah that's it oh yeah that's right <laughs> comments <laughs> ah, okay uh oh simon's like have you used youtube ads and if so what are results is tony running your youtube ads or no guys it's all been organic i'm getting into youtube ads later My yeah, think, uh, I... marketer actually has a um five day youtube ad challenge that he's running right now uh-huh uh, I'll give you the link for it, but um, he also has a course, and he used to work for ClickFunnels, so he's oh, like nice. the funnel builder guy, and he he um, he's in like deep with YouTube. <laughs> so, oh yeah, 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 for sure. Send that over to me. I'd love to. Look I, at it. I will. I just um, have uh, Billy Jean's uh, YouTube training for ads. Oh yeah, Here Billy marketing. He has a YouTube. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he has. I got his YouTube ads course maybe like a year ago, but I've never really looked into it because I wasn't planning on doing YouTube ads. But now that I'm doing that, I'm really focusing on YouTube. Like, it's gonna come in handy. Oh, wow. Okay, guys. Um, let's see what other questions. What's up, Andrew De Dean Bethel? Say he's. I think he tagged the wrong Andrew. Is he? Is Dean, he... you tra you tagged the wrong Andrew, bro. <laughs> Kyle says, I have Alex Becker's for YouTube ads. Cool. Uh, Al yeah, Alex, Alex Becker is cool. Hey, guys. Um, if you want my app, not Group Convert, it's, it's another Chrome extension that is in beta version right now. But what it does is it takes all your links. And uh, you know how you have Click Magic, Luis? Do you have Click Magic? I don't know if you do. But um, <laughs> it'll take all, if you export all your links, it'll make your links searchable on your same window so you could put all your links into a google sheet and it will take it will pull all those links and have it be searchable in a little chrome extension bar on your oh that's cool mm -hmm. so a lot of times what i find is that people do common letters and people are always asking like what's this link what's that link and i'm like uh i have to go and open another tab and then control f and find yeah. it yeah <laughs> Now, uh, my other tab with the Google Sheet with the links and stuff, it's all um, like pulled into my Chrome extension and I can just Oh, start that's it. cool. Yeah. And, and you, can, you can create links inside the Chrome extension and have it pushed to your sheet. So you update your sheet or if you update your sheet, you can pull that data into the extension. By Do you have a visual on that, like a video showing everything that you just explained? Um, yeah, I do. I, I oh, okay. do. After yeah, yeah, I love to see that. That's really cool. The only thing that I use 
um, is permanent clipboard. Have you heard of that uh, extension? It's a permanent Chrome extension. Clipboard. Um, I, there are extensions out there that are for uh, like copy. It only, it only stores like link. It only stores my like links. That's all it does. Does it have like a bunch of affiliate links or like you know links that I recommend to people? Yeah. Um, yeah, it just helps me store them. But that's that's pretty much it. But it doesn't make it searchable. Like there's no little. No, no, no. Okay, well, mine's better because then <laughs> think of the keyword. You're like, okay, uh, group convert keyword and type yeah. it in. I I use it every day, so I'm like. No, that's really cool. Because people ask me, "Hey, what's the what's the link for it? How do I get become an affiliate?" And I just go there and I do it. But I'm gonna give you a copy, Luis, and also whoever oh, here if you're live today, you guys are getting a copy. Just contact me. Um, my VA or me will <laughs> we'll be sending you the details to that. Right now, it's like pre website. It's super beta, but it works and it's really really cool save you a lot of time um dean says that he's gonna get group convert tonight cool dean you know where to do go it, dean do it groupconvert.com <laughs> um carrie says i'm liking the other chrome extension for funnels oh i have like i have i have one that kind of clones funnels which is oh yeah kind of secret don't tell people that. <laughs> okay Shh. be quiet you guys okay um all right, so uh, let's see. We have four minutes left. I don't want to keep Luis here on forever. I kind of rambled on about myself for a little bit. Sorry about that. No, but, no, no. Uh, let's go back. Let's go back to Luis and where we can find him on all the social platforms. So Luis, um, YouTube is bitly slash Luis YouTube. Um, let me see if I can type that into the comments. Bitly. Yeah, I mean, you guys could also, I mean, everybody that's watching, if you guys enjoy this and you guys have any other questions, feel free to add me on Facebook um, and either shoot me a message there or just follow me on Instagram at Alvarado. So L-U-I-S-X Alvarado. Um, and I, I love to share stories. I love to like just go and like, I probably have like 10 different stories in where I like go in on a specific subject. So you have something um, that you would like, you know, more explanation on, or I can even share my screen on. I do that through uh, Instagram stories. Oh, cool. Oh, so is that how you spell it? I threw it on the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how you spell it. Luis X Alvarado. So Instagram, YouTube, do you have, what else? <laughs> uh, so yeah, Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook. Just add me as a friend here on Facebook. Okay. All right, yeah, and add Luis as a friend. Follow him. Um, he he knows what he's talking about. He's been in this industry for, if you say, like, even more than one year, I would say that that is a long time, you know? <laughs> Some people enter it, and then they quit, and that was me. I, I entered it, uh, like, I learned about ClickFunnels, entered it for a little bit, and I was like, eh, this is so much work. I went away, <laughs> <laughs> but when I came back, several months ago and i really took it seriously i saw um i mean my e-commerce business does you know a lot but i saw that click funnels actually gave me sales in the thousands and and um when i i saw that i could do click funnels and online sales and and see those results myself I'm, it all started like hitting me hard like all the words from gary v and all <laughs> I was like, oh my God. And then I find myself in bed like this, like, oh my God. Like, <laughs> it was a thousand dollar day. Oh my God. And then when I hear Crazy, you say right? 12,000 in a week, I'm like, that is totally possible. Like, it, like my belief completely changed. But yeah, anyways. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that wasn't even like the craziest thing. Like, for me, I was actually with with Andrew and another buddy. So we we're living in the Bahamas last year, and yeah. we we did an, in one in a single day we did a launch and we did over fifteen k, and that in just twenty four hours. And like for us to like do that, like you know, I had some ideas, put it together, um, like that completely shatters a bunch of like limiting beliefs that you have about generating money 
or how how did you, like you know you want to go back and you say okay like what did we do right what did we do wrong here and you get to learn a lot from those experiences um and yeah i highly recommend i mean like you guys like you know you you were able to come back to this and now you see its potential like there's no reason why other people here that you guys are watching us right now talk about this like do it this is the start of a you know it's a brand new year you guys can go ahead and and do it resolve any fears that you may have towards money like really value your time and who you spend with and like you have amazing facebook groups such as this one that you can spend your time in and ask questions um and that's really all it takes just ask the right questions spend time crafting your questions and don't be afraid to use google or youtube to research anything that you have because a lot of people are lazy and that's kind of what prevents a lot of people from succeeding but don't be lazy google it youtube it and then ask questions here in the groups cool that is awesome w one last question because i i mean as much as this is for my audience sorry guys i <laughs> I do these interviews so that I can ask the questions too. Um, so where do you go to figure out, uh, you know, the difference between a 1K day launch to a 15K day launch? That This is a very specific question, but yes. I think people do 80K day launches or like, you know, not like personally, but, you know, just seeing it happen. I'm like, what the heck? What's the, what's the difference? Is it like a longer beta list period time is it creating a lot of beta people and a lot of talk about it before you do it or i don't know what the secret is I mean, <laughs> so definitely um being so it's a mixture of things right but all like i think the the biggest the biggest one has to be like your the biggest variable in there is your audience like how big is the audience that you are presenting this offer to Right. Because if you present just an offer to like 10 people, but I mean, if it's a high ticket, cool. If, if it's a cut, you know, high ticket offer. Awesome. But if you present it like a 1K offer to 10 people and all of a sudden you get 100 percent, which you probably won't. Right. Like that's 10K. But if you present that same offer to 100 people that just those 1000, that's 100K. So audience size is the biggest variable here. But uh, besides that, what some some of the biggest factors um, that go into launches like this are, you know, how much how how, how much did you like tease the, the audience that you were going to present this offer to? You have to really understand and know how to create an irresistible offer. That means being able to identify exactly what type of like internal limiting beliefs people may have, external beliefs and also what type of beliefs they may have on the product that you are going to give them, what, what things are holding them back from actually believing that this is going to help them out, and then crafting stories around all these limiting beliefs that they have. And the only way that you can change and shift people's minds is by creating you know, these stories that are definitely going to help uh, people be able to buy. Um, and when you crush these limiting beliefs, which you do through storytelling, then you're able to do that and then obviously have a follow-up funnel, have a follow-up sequence after you get people in there and remind them because some people may be, you know, pretty busy the first time that they saw it, then the second time they see it or the third time finally you got them and they wanted to do it, you know. So it's it's a lot of factors there. I just threw some at you. But I think the big, the big, definitely the biggest variable when it comes to like these big launches is the, is the audience size. Okay. All right. That's, that's really useful for me to know because yeah, one of my launches was to less than 200 people, less than 150 people. And it's still did well. So I'm like, Oh my God, what if this was to a thousand people? Exactly. So now you, based on that data, I mean, you could share with other people and do JVs or, you know, get affiliates and say, Hey, like, look, I have a converting offer. Would you like to, you know, get a part of this? So cool. So, so <laughs> I'm gonna implement. I'm gonna take what you said and implement all these things. Um, hey guys, thanks for sticking around. But we are about to close up. So, how to reach Luis? Subscribe to his YouTube channel, um, and you can find it at bitly slash Luis YouTube. YouTube. Yes. Oh, that's really easy for me to remember. <laughs> I should do one. <laughs> <laughs> 
and um, and you can find this um, interview also. It's gonna be uploaded to YouTube, so uh, let you don't have to go into this group and scroll and scroll and scroll to find it. You can hop onto YouTube and find it. Um, and okay, so thanks everyone. Is there any last words you want to? I basically didn't really ask any of my typical questions. <laughs> I usually have like a list of like what are the tools you well, use. Well, we're, we're I mean like I, I think I, I really enjoyed this. I really had a lot of fun. This is the first time Kim and I connect, so it was I think I think it was great. All right, well guys, thanks for thanks for being here. And um, so Luis, what I'm gonna do is click end broadcast, and it ends it for the audience. I'll still be able to talk to you for a bit. Um, yeah. so give you you know the stuff I think you asked for a link and things like that. But um, I'll say bye to you. Uh, privately and then <laughs> everyone bye bye everybody thanks for tuning in make sure to add me if you have any other questions oh yeah if you like that video then you will love all the resources that i have over at kimcdang.com that is k-i-m-c-d-a-n-g.com there you will find all my courses, my extensions, all the offers that um, I have, as well as a lot of free resources if you are just getting started.